Hello, fabulous Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological month, a standout time. And part of what makes it stand out so much is the beginning of an extended eclipse season that'll take us right into July. The ancients said that the veil between the worlds was especially thin in the period between eclipses. And what happens this time in the middle of this year is that instead of two eclipses back to back two weeks apart, we get three eclipses making for a full month of eclipse season. So our spiritual lessons become that much more evident. And this is going to be that much more important for you. The first eclipse that happens on June the 5th is in fellow fire sign Sagittarius. Now this is the first of a series of eclipses that are going to take us right forward for the next year and a half. And this is the beginning of larger lessons of understanding what your heart truly wants in every area of life and understanding what you're truly passionate about. Lunar eclipses tend to bring with them dramatic truth, which lend themselves to karmic closures. And so this can be one of those moments where it isn't so much about you realizing what you do want, but realizing where it is that you've pursued a path as far as it is that you are meant to go with it. Eclipses make things very clear. And this particular eclipse is that much more dramatic, that much more high energy. And that's because it is involved in a larger configuration that astrologers call a T-square. It is Venus retrograde happening opposite this eclipse and both of these placements speaking with Mars that make up this larger configuration. It is that Mars that is adding urgency and energy and even emotion that much more to an already emotional time. And so all of the feels, all of your desires are going to be very much on the surface now. For some, this is going to be a chance for true self-honesty, where it is that you have sacrificed a passion, sacrificed what you really wanted to do in favor of what was stable. Well, now you may come back to it, but yes, for others, it may be something you told yourself you were passionate about. You're getting honest. Maybe that isn't for you. And maybe it's something else. And that is where the fun can begin. That is where the power is. But that doesn't mean that letting go necessarily will feel easy. For some, this is going to be connected to a creative project that may feel like it has run its course. And for others still, this is going to speak to your understanding about your role in the children in your life. Do know that your fertility will be unpredictable under this sky. And so there absolutely are things that you can do to ensure that things are a little bit more stable in that regard and use this energy in other ways. Use this energy towards understanding creative endeavors. But regardless, the change, the shift that happens now, it is heart centered. And even if it's uncomfortable, it may very well be good and setting you up for even bigger progress. In fact, bigger windfalls in the months ahead. As we move later into the month on the summer solstice on June 21st is when we are going to have a solar eclipse. This solar eclipse is important for a few reasons and mainly because you have had eclipses in the sign just before yours on and off for the last two years. And this is the final eclipse set to take place in this part of the sky. And then you'll get a little bit of a break for the next few years, at least for now. And so this is a part of the sky that connects to what is happening on levels of soul and psyche and spirit. And when we have eclipses here, it speaks to powerful karmic cleansing. It speaks to a sense of realization of what was hidden becoming illuminated now in a way that prepares the ground for new and more. It prepares the ground for space, so that the new and the next can enter and bless your life. A solar eclipse here isn't just about the beginnings that solar eclipses inherently hold, 
but also about how it is they allow you to close another chapter. Now, days before this solar eclipse, we are going to have Mercury retrograde in the same part of the sky, which tells me that karmic blessings are high and they very well may be linked to opportunities that were around before, were in the ether, you thought were gone, and now may come back around to bless your life. Where it comes to matters of love, it is all about that lunar eclipse early this month happening in that heart-oriented part of the sky for you. If you are open to meeting someone new, that lunar eclipse does suggest a very powerful, very passionate flirtation with another person. Now, how far it goes is always up to you to decide in light of your unique circumstances. I don't see a lot of stick to with this energy, okay? Not necessarily seeing long-term potential here necessarily, but what I am seeing is very strong feelings, very strong emotion that awaken you and help you to understand your heart's desires. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I think that this is going to be an all or nothing kind of energy. It is for many people, but especially for you in the context of dating, you are going to get a chance to see this person, understand more, feel things very deeply. And from there, make a choice. Is this the right person for you or not? This eclipse is either going to indicate a heightening of intimacy and passion or a heightening of anger that leads you to go in a different direction. And for those of you in an established bond, the desires of the heart can be very strong at this time. It is also possible, and I'm so sorry to say, but if it is that you have children or you've talked about having children, it may be that there is a disagreement on how to approach a particular matter that has to do with a child in your life, but that may not necessarily be the case. This can also connect you to a deeper understanding of what it is that love is for you and how it is that you can convey that need so that it is met. This can also be a time when, yes, passion and energy and emotion run very high, but ultimately can lend itself to a deeper truth that helps the two of you understand each other more. What I love about this month for you, well, look, I feel like just focusing on the eclipses, I barely scratched the surface, I have to say. And that is because as we navigate later into the month, we are going to have Venus going direct. We are going to have Mars entering the sign of Aries, fellow fire sign Aries, for a nice long seven month stay. Normally, Mars spends about seven weeks in a given sign. This time, a nice long stay because we will be approaching a retrograde season coming up ahead. Now, I will be here to talk about it every step of the way, but what this does suggest is you are embarking on a journey of understanding your place in the world that much more passionately. And also at the end of this month, if all of that wasn't enough, Jupiter will meet Pluto in the sky for the second of three meetings that these planets are set to have this year with this happening in daily part of the sky for you well chances are you'll be looking at your daily life for greater empowerment and transformation as well all of this does suggest a truly consequential time the eclipses are just the beginning well thank you so much for watching you can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com sign up to be one of my superstars superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week unlimited access to special horoscopes and more all of this in the superstar space i look forward to meeting you there it'll be a great month enjoy